Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how to create an order form just like this. It can be a donation form, it can be a billing form or an order form for your WordPress website using WP Forms. So let's dive straight in and get started. When we come back here to our dashboard, we are going to come to plugins over here. And under plugins, we are going to get a plugin called WP Forms. This is the name of the plugin over here. And you should get actually the pro version of this plugin because that's when you'll be in position to integrate even the payment module whereby someone will actually pay for the services that they are ordering from you there and then. So once you have this installed, next thing that we are going to do is come over here to WP Forms and then say all forms. So under all forms, you have uh, already your created forms down here. At the moment, I have my billing form over here. And this is the one that is open at the moment where you see here. So what we are going to do is simply come back over here and we are simply going to create a new form. And uh, we can give it a name and say like order form. If it's a donation form, you can simply name it a donation form. If it's a billing form, you can simply give it any name. It doesn't matter. Then right down here, there is an already made template that is for an order or a billing form. And if you are basically creating a donation form, you are going to just simply use this over here. And this is one of the beauty of WP Forms. They've actually created presets for some of these uh, forms. On the other hand, you can also create your forms from scratch. You start from scratch here and then you can simply drag and drop elements. So in this case, we are going to simply get this template. Okay, and uh, already we have given it a name and it has already these pre-made or preset uh, features over here. So what we are going to do is simply to customize this and basically leave only the fields that we want. I think we should actually collect the address or someone should just simply fill in, you know, just their name and then their email address. And then we can come over here to the phone format and we can change the format to go to be international. And uh, we can also make it not to be required just in case someone doesn't want to give us their phone contact but basically just give us an email which is actually required over here and then over here we have the address details and uh, we can change the format of this and uh, we can simply use an international format and uh, over here we can say uh, someone will be in position to enter in their address line one address line two and then that state or the promise and on the other option we have this option over here for the items that actually they want to order from you you can add a number of items and uh, you can also remove other items so in this case uh, the available items so here we can say available or we can say services to order and then down here you can simply just name your services let me say uh, wall painting and then maybe this is going to be furnishing. Uh, for the third item, we can add like parking grading. And uh, here you can, of course, assign a, a price for each of these elements over here. And uh, by someone selecting this option over here, automatically the cost will be added right down here. So you can still add, you know, another option over here. And uh, you can also delete the option that you had uh, earlier added and you can simply also come over here to the advanced options and you can simply add you know an image choice of your you know let me say modern or none you know for the style and then uh, the column layout you can choose whether one column two columns three columns all depends on what you want if i say like inline all these features will be like inline i think this is actually uh, looking way better and then for the conditionals, you can enable conditional logic. But I don't want us to go into that. Let's just come back over here to the multiple options where we actually list the services that we are offering or what someone is basically going to donate against. Then you may have a couple of services, maybe child uh, sponsorship or maybe food or something like that. And you can simply just list them over here and boom, someone is in position to, you know, order for something specific. So if you come over here and then choose like use image choices then automatically of course the images will show up over here for whatever service that is of course up here you can simply upload an image for that specific service and is reflected so let me say 
within wall painting and maybe under furnishing we can add uh, something like that and then here for parking uh, grading let me just use this for matters of this tutorial on the other hand now we can come over here like the other option for the classic or the image style option can always uh, be implemented just under right here so now once you are done creating your form and probably added your images down here you can add a custom message in case someone wants like uh, to add a special request they can simply just come and add it over here and uh, you can make it required in this case i don't want it to be required uh, like for example if uh, someone wants to us to make their painting maybe they just want to you know uh, us to go there and maybe meet them face to face or they basically want us to use a special painting or something of that sort once you are done now we are going to go right straight to the settings option and for someone basically to be able to pay we are going to change this button to something like pay so we are going to come over here to the submit button and say pay now if it's for donating you simply just name this uh, donate now and then uh here it will basically say sending maybe sending a payment and uh, under notifications this is where you should actually be receiving your notifications because by default wp forms always sends notifications for whatever entry is happening on your website and uh, these are of course the entries and of course here it names the form which someone is using to send the entries and where the entries are coming from and to that email but you can also disable them in case you don't want to receive any notifications about that and then under the confirmation of course this is the message someone sees once they finish uh, paying but in this case if you want to show a specific page you can simply link that page or maybe a thank you page or something that you already created in your website or you can basically redirect them to another url that you just simply paste over here and boom they basically go up to that url upon payment in case you simply just want to show a message this is where you basically just type your message and uh, of course here you can say thanks for your payment confirmation will be sent in soon okay something like that now we are going to simply come down here to the payments because we want people actually to be able to pay there and then so we come down here to payments and here it will ask us to install a payment integration this is a payment integration that actually works super well with wp forms wp forms at the moment gives you two options either to integrate with uh, paypal or stripe so in this case we are going to use paypal and here it will ask us to install and activate the add-on uh, for wp forms and paypal that will help you to collect payments through your website so now it will install okay once it is installed simply say yes and refresh the page okay now we have our paypal uh, installed this is actually another plugin that actually has been installed on our website so when we come back here to our website let me show you on the dashboard we are going to come down here to plugins so under plugins you're going to see that there is another add-on which is WP Forms PayPal standard. So this is the one that is actually enabling PayPal to process payments through your website. Now, when we come back here to our integration, we are going to enable the PayPal standard payments and then the PayPal email address. This is the email address where the payment actually will be sent. So let me say my email address and then the payment mode, maybe you're testing this, but I'll, if you're testing this, just simply leave it into the test or the sandbox, but I'll leave it to be in production because I want to show you how this basically works. And then the payment type, if it's a donation, you have to select a donation. If someone is paying for a service or a product, of course, you have to select this. At the moment, they are paying for a service or product and then they cancel URL in case uh, someone uh, basically wants to cancel. This URL will be indicated right at the checkout page on paypal so when they say cancel automatically they will be taken back to the specific page let me say this is going to be our cancel url you can create this page as a separate page in wordpress and then uh if you want someone to uh enter in the shipping details right here you'll have to ask for the shipping details or if you don't want to collect the shipping details of course you have to mention that here uh, don't ask for shipping address because according to our form format, we have actually uh, collected the shipping address in the fields. So once you are done here, then you simply uh, either check over this option. Don't ask buyer to include a note with a payment, which is totally okay. Now we simply have to save changes. Now, once we save changes, we have now 
one more way to go when you come over here to your form this is how it looks like you're collecting the name and all that stuff and then these are the services they could actually pay for and then special request and then someone you know is basically going to come over here and they pay now how do we display this form on our website there are two ways you can either use elementor the page builder or you can basically use gutenberg so when i copy over here this code i'm going to come over here to pages and i'm going to add a new page so when i add a new page here i can say order form and right here i can either add a short code to display my form from wp forms or i can basically just come over here and then search for the wp forms integration and then i simply select the form that i want to display on that page and then i select the form so either way all works super fine and uh, right there then when you say preview you'll see that your order form shows up over there this is the first section of the order form this is the next other section so this is the one for the short code and this is the one that i basically used uh, the block for wp forms so you see everything looks super fine so i'll simply just come back over here and then i delete the one for the short code remove the block and now what you have to do is simply publish when you publish then your order form will be uh, visible on your website now in case you're not using gutenberg but you're using elementor we are going to simply just come over here to any of the pages for example i'm going to come to the pages and then i'll open up any page over here so in this case let me open up like the service page this is the services page and once i open it up it will just be over here so at the start of this tutorial i showed you this order form over here and it's the one that you are seeing being reflected here on our service page on the website now how do we add that specific widget using elementor so when you come back here to elementor and uh, we are going to simply uh, jump one section we're going to add uh, a new section and under this section we are going to come over here we are going to get a wp forms widget so this widget is actually made by the plus add-ons for elementor but also many other add-ons have the wp forms widget integrated so i'll select my wp form that i want to display on this page in this case it is supposed to be an order form but i think i need to first reload this page so that it is reflected in the archive okay page is reloaded i come back here create a new section come grab a wp forms widget this is by the plus add-ons for elementor then when i come over here to select the form then i'm going to see my order form over here boom now once i select my order form over there i can now just do a little bit of padding top bottom and the sides so i come over here to the padding options i'm going to add 100 and 100 all sides and uh, i simply update when i update i come here to my service page remember we have our first order form which is the old one now we have our second over order form which is down here okay with a lot of images or big images they don't really look nice let me just come back to our forms and i'm simply going to remove the images i'm going to delete this delete that delete that just to keep it very simple come back here to our editor i'm going to reload that boom I come back down here see now we have our form without the images now we are going to add a little bit of uh the background color just a little bit of styling come back here come to styles and uh gradient and i'm going to give this something like that yeah i think this is okay i'm going to update and i'll also reload this page so that we reflect the updated version of our form without the images when i come to the service page come down here to our form which is looking really nice down here okay with a name a special request you know special services to order someone can order this and then they can also add a special message down here and then they can pay now this is what we had created over here for our form see when you look into this 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 and all that stuff uh, when you look into this uh, the form fields 
this is what we are basically collecting i think i'm going to come back here to the services and i'm going to choose not to use the image choices so that our form looks just a little bit more tidy come back here we are going now to reload our page Uh, just come down here See now we have the radio buttons come now to our preview page uh, Scrolling down you see now we have our radio buttons over here. We can also add a title I can just simply come back here to Elementor come up here on the first widget. Just copy this widget over here for the title or the heading come down here and then I'll add our widget paste it's going to go down I'll simply just drag it to the top of the form something like that and boom now we have finished creating our order form when you look at our preview this is the first one now this is the second one order form and uh, all the details that we wanted now what we are going to do is now to test our form uh, let me come back delete the first form which is the old one and now we are going to simply update this now i go to our services page i'm going to go to the live page not the preview and uh, i'll come over here enter in the names then my email and all that stuff so i'll say hamza.kwehangana at gotechug.com and all those details over here the shipping addresses and then the services i want to order maybe i want to order the furnishing service which is 20 dollars now when you come back here to our wp forms you realize that the furnishing was 20 dollars like you can also change that in your services or for your pricing and also parking grading so i can also name that or you can even create multiple choice options over here so that someone can order two or more services at a go so in this case i'll just simply leave it at that and then a special message i'll say please arrive on time and then i'll say pay when i say pay now this will directly take me to paypal whereby actually i'm in position to pay this amount of money boom you see now it takes me straight over here and then the amount of money i'm going to pay is over right there and i can pay using my paypal account i simply just log in over here and boom i pay for the service now when i pay for the service automatically me the website owner will be in position to receive an email a notification of the payment in their paypal and also you an email from wp forms showing the order uh, success or showing the order that has come through including all the information over here so in a nutshell, that's how you can create an order, a billing form or a donation form using WP Forms. And also don't forget that in WP Forms, we had also set up like a cancel URL, which is a services page. Like when someone cancels from PayPal, automatically they should be redirected to the services page. Now let's go to the PayPal page. Now in case someone doesn't want to pay this, they can simply just scroll down here and then they can do what? Cancel. Now you see when they cancel automatically they are brought back to the services page. Congratulations on creating your first WP Forms order billing or donation form. In case you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and if you like the video please give it a like. Have a good time and goodbye.